combat, a vigorous struggle to survive. A struggle Marines take part in every day in Iraq. Bombs exploding, rounds ricocheting, and rockets soaring all around them. But when they come home, everything stops and changes. Door slams replace explosions. Dreams turn into nightmares. Lance Corporal Josh Fincham survived some of the bloodiest battles in Iraq. That's him there with his fire team fighting in the streets of Fallujah. See, on November 13th, his life changed forever. During a raid on insurgents, he was injured by grenade shrapnel and a gunshot wound to the hip. The Purple Heart, two, Lance Corporal Joshua D. Fincham. Today, three months later and a half a world away, he's receiving his Purple Heart. To me, I think the Purple Heart means, you know, I've been through hell and now I have something to show for it. I survived hell, you know. Now, Fincham's unit, the 1st Battalion, 3rd Marine Regiment, right here out of Hawaii, is scheduled to come home from deployment sometime in April. Now, support personnel from all over the Marine Corps Base Hawaii, Kaneohe Bay area, are doing everything they can to help these Marines and sailors transition back to life here in Hawaii. One group is the Navy chaplains, warriors of faith whose sole mission is to care for the psychological and spiritual issues of those returning. Some chaplains even deploy with their Marines and sailors to provide that direction and guidance in the heat of battle and for what follows. Yeah, we had a great chaplain. He was, he was crazy. Like, he, he went out on patrol with us, and of course, he doesn't carry a weapon, so he's kind of a crazy guy, but, you know, he was, he was a good man. Good man. I liked him a lot. He was a good friend of mine. As a chaplain, I try to offer them hope through God's love and, and that, you know, they can get through this time of, of dealing with some of it very suffering and some not. All, it's all individual. Some people really affects them, you know, mentally, and others, they're not really affected so much. I'll, I'll make sure I get you those copies. These Marines spent months and fighting together in Iraq, right and right Chaplain right. Shearer says yeah. the best way they can help each other now Still is to talk with one another, sharing their experiences, their fears, and ultimately their great achievements together. You just take pride in knowing that, you know, everyone's there for the same reason. It's trying to get them to uh, talk amongst each other you know, and really dialogue themselves and share their stories if it's, you know, a safe place, the ones that are all went through it together. And that's a, also a big part of the healing. He picks me up and I grab my For weapon. For Fincham and you know, his fellow Marines, you know, that's commonplace nearly down. every day at Mackey Hall. Pretty soon, you know, everybody will be out here just chilling and we'll all be telling war stories about how he got hurt. And... Now in tomorrow's episode, we'll see what advice Lance Corporal Fincham is taking from these support personnel and exactly what he's doing himself to get his life back on track here in Hawaii. Corporal Jeremy Vaught, Marine Corps Base, Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii.